Hey everyone, Bezad here, and uh, today I'm uh, coming through to you on YouTube land. I decided to uh, use one of my iPads to uh, do this live stream, and hopefully it's a little bit better than my, my shaky phone, uh, and, I, and I hope I get better video quality. Um, so, anyways, uh, I'm trying to see if what's going on here. I'm, I'm, I don't use the YouTube uh, live stream uh, very often, but... Here I am, so uh, let's, uh, okay, quality looks much better. Thank you, uh, thanks Chase. So uh, I wanted to start off with uh, today. I launched, well I didn't launch, I, I released the fall winter 2019. I'm, the camera's a little off anyways. Uh, I released the fall winter 2019 release schedule, release the release schedule on tatinyoko.com. So, you now have uh, the ability to take a look at everything that is coming out for this fall winter season and plan your shopping accordingly. And of course, uh, there's a lot of products that, uh, you know, I think over the last couple of months I talked about on my, on my live streams, but today I'm gonna do a, an entire, you know, coverage of, of the entire thing. And I don't know, my, sorry about uh, my speech today. It's a little, it's the end of the week. I'm, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of energy here, so. Uh, please bear with me. I've got my, my Naked and Famous Denim coffee mug and a little bit of coffee. Hopefully that'll uh, get me through uh, everything today and I won't say ums and ahs so much. I, I, I do try to not do that. Okay, so let's start off with one of the most anticipated releases of the season and that is the Elephant 7. 22 ounce super heavyweight denim and this time, made with Supima cotton. So some people might be asking, what is Supima cotton? Supima cotton is an American long staple cotton. So what does that do for denim? It makes it extra soft and it makes it extra durable. The colorway of the Elephant 8 is based off the Elephant 2. You have this rough out leather patch as well. So think of it as uh, the Elephant 2, but uh, with a soft touch. And uh, you know, it, it should prove to be more durable than before. So we've got the Elephant 8 Supima Soft Selvage, 22 ounces, oh sorry, 21 ounces. And we have the uh, faded jean right here. I did show this off a few times on the Instagram live stream, but you can see what, uh, what you can expect to, to get with this denim Ugh, right here. So uh, Elephant, Eight coming out on. Let me get to. Oh, my! I've got a double iPad setup going on, and uh, I'm not the most Apple knowledgeable guy. Uh, Elephant Eight Supima is going to be coming out in a couple of different, um, a couple of different releases. So they're not all going to come out at the same time. Uh, it looks like it will start to come out on September the twentieth. So that'll be available relatively soon in about one month. And the retail price on that is going to be, double checking right now. Thanks so much for everybody for joining in, by the way. Um, the retail price on the Elephant 8 is going to be 185 in the US. So 185 uh, USD retail for the Elephant 8. And next up is a denim that I'm really, really, really a big fan of. And that is the Lord, the Lord of Nep. Now this here, I know I've, I've shown this off on a few live streams. This is the neppiest denim ever created. And you can see from the camera here, hopefully you can see it well. Um, these little spots are like little mistakes in the fabric, except we did it on purpose because we wanted to create the most textured neppy denim ever. So. You can see just how incredibly neppy this fabric is. One thing to note is that this denim is not going to be completely raw. We had to rinse wash this jean. So uh, it is a little bit, uh, it is not particularly crispy, uh, this fabric. The reason for that is the shrinkage rate on this fabric was unbelievable. It was the most shrinkage I've ever seen on a denim fabric ever. It was an almost 20% shrinkage rate uh, on the raw fabric we were not able to samphorize this fabric. And the reason for that is during the samphorization process, there is a, a singeing process that would 
burn off all of these little nips that we don't want to happen. So this fabric had to be unsamperized in order to, to be created. And uh, the shrinkage rate was just too much for us to you know, put out into the wild and say, hey, uh, size up four and hopefully it works out for you. Uh, so we rinse washed it for you. We got rid of the shrink and you have this uh, one, basically it's a one wash denim headed your way, but it's still unbel unbelievably neppy, still very, very dark to begin with. And you can see here from the uh, like wash, you know, distressed, uh, worn in kind of sample here, the, the color difference. So you, you still have a lot of life in this denim fabric. Uh, it just won't be as crispy as a fresh pair of raw jeans would be. So um, that is coming out pretty soon also. I mean, everything is coming out between now and um, I think the latest thing is the end of October. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm juggling too many apps here. I'm not gonna be able to tell you exactly the date. I'm going to put in the description below the release schedule and you guys will be able to check that out on your own. Um, but I can tell you the price on these and that is going to be $218 US. So in the United States, uh, it will be 218. And uh, just in case you guys didn't see the pocket flasher, uh, you've got the Lord of Nep. It's on this kind of like faux leather, kind of looks like a Bible. Uh, that was kind of my inspiration here. And it says, you will know my name is the Lord when this neppy texture is laid upon thee. If, uh, hopefully you guys get the reference for that one. Uh, if not, well, if you do, uh, tell me what you think it is in the comments below. And uh, if you don't, you'll probably find the answer in the comments below. Um, I'm a big movie fan, by the way, especially of that particular director. Next, we have the Army Green Duck Canvas. This is actually out and available right now. The uh, Army Green Duck Canvas is the new color addition to our, uh, we have a, a, a beige duck canvas, like a very, very kind of classic color. And we have an indigo duck canvas as well. So we have a new Army Green just to kind of round out the color assortment. This is great for those days where denim just isn't, you know, maybe it's not, uh, it's not a denim day, which is a sad day, but it's a great day if you get to wear something like this. 10 ounces, great weight for all year wear and uh, super durable fabric. So we've got the Army Green Duck Canvas coming out in just, no, it's already out. It's already out. Uh, next, the Left Hand Twill Midnight Edition. This is, this is a great Indigo by Black denim you know, we haven't done an Indigo by Black in a while, and a lot of people have asked us to do it, and we're using our most popular, I think one of our most popular denim fabrics uh, that we've ever made, the Left Hand 12 Selvage. So if you've ever owned that pair of jeans, or you own it, I'm, I'm currently wearing a pair, um, you know how this denim wears in, you know how soft it gets, you know how beautifully it fades. It's, so it's the exact same construction, exact same indigo exterior, except now we did it with a black interior. So indigo by black, it fades beautifully, as you can expect from this fabric, and you've got that black on the inside with the indigo on the outside. So you can see it does fade to white, and then when you get up close, you can see in between the grain, that black shines, uh, well, shows through. It doesn't really shine through, but it shows through, and uh, so you get that black undertone to the fabric as well and you've got that uh, tonal stitching to go with it so a very clean looking denim and it will fade quite beautifully a great great addition uh to anybody's denim collection you know i feel like you know as you go through i don't know is it the uh the mountain of, of, of things that you kind of got to own when you're when you're in the raw denim world indigo by black is one of them so if you've never experienced indigo by by black before this is going to be a great option for you all right, next. I'm used to walking around, so this is a little weird for me. Uh, as I do these live streams, that is. Next, we've got the Kasuri Stretch Selvage. And for those of you uh, who, who know our brand, you know that we released the Kasuri Selvage last season. This is the Kasuri Stretch Selvage. It's the exact same version as the Kasuri Selvage uh, from last year, but now with 2% stretch. Uh, so 
very, very comfortable jean. It starts out with that raw feel, but of course, as you wear it in, that stretch will activate and, and you know, it'll, it'll break in just that little bit more, a little bit faster. Uh, and the color is really, really fantastic. If you take a close look here, you can see it's a very, very streaky denim. You get a lot of indigo tones throughout the, uh, throughout the denim itself and it fades quite beautifully. I've got a, a faded edition right here for you. You can really see that streakiness come right through. This is one of the most popular denims that we released last fall, uh, and we're happy to have this one back. A lot of people missed out on it, so here's your chance to get it again. So you can see just how beautiful and streaky that is, and, uh, and how nicely that will fade. So that's the Kasuri Stretch Selvage coming, uh, coming at you. Okay, next we have another jean that we just released. That's the Black Cobra Stretch Selvage. Check that out. It's a uh, 12 and a half ounce denim, or no, it's 12 ounce, so not 12 and a half ounce, with 2% elastin and uh, selvage. So we've always had our solid black selvage and we've had our black power stretch. This kind of is the in-between jean for, uh, uh, of those, uh, I guess, those materials. So. Um, the Black Power Stretch, great, great, great fabric, very, very stretchy, and for those people who really like that kind of power stretch, they really want that elastic jean, the Black Power Stretch is the one for you. The Solid Black Selvage, a great 100% cotton, rigid, crispy denim, and that's great for you. But there are some people who want that break in time, and they want that stretch, and they want that selvage, so we, brought, we put it all together, the Black Cobra Stretch Selvage. This is the same construction base as our nightshade stretch selvage. So if you've ever worn that jean before, you know just how like crispy it feels at the beginning and how nicely it breaks in as you wear it in. So expect a, a very, very comfortable jean while maintaining that, that heritage look with the Black Cobra stretch selvage. Next, oh, this is really nice. This is coming out, this is gonna be released next week. We just got these in. And something that I'm excited for is, well, the fact that I get to like properly show it off because we had the chestnut dyed selvage. I mean, it was on our line sheet. We showed off uh, our sample to everybody in the world, but the problem was our sample had a, had a little oopsie in it. And that is the, the mill forgot to use the chestnut dye to dye the weft. So they used the indigo warp and then they used the white weft and they didn't quite make the sample that we needed. Uh, and it was too late because, you know, we have trade shows and, and that type of thing to do. So, uh, you know, we, we just kind of explained to people what that denim was going to look like. And uh, finally, I get to show it off. And this is actually the first time um, anybody's going to see it anywhere. Uh, so thank you for, for joining me on my live stream here. So we've got that, that beautiful indigo dyed warp and it's got this nice little warm tone to it. You can see a little bit coming through the grain here and check out that inside. It is this nice brownish red tone and you also have this metallic selvage ID here. It's a very, very beautiful denim. I'm very excited for this one. I think this is, this is one of the best ones for the fall. Uh, if you're a boot wearer, you, you know, the, the nice brown reddish boots, this is gonna look so good with that. So uh, the chestnut dyed selvage, 12 and a half ounce weight, 100% cotton, the weft dyed with natural uh, chestnut dye. So there is a mill, uh, a, a, a dyeing, well, there are dyeing specialists, natural dye specialists in Japan that we work with, and they are able to create just the most incredible natural dyes for us. Uh, anytime we have a, a weird idea, they're like, no problem. And that's what I love about working with these, these, these Japanese companies is that, you know, they, they allow us to be crazy and uh, they find a way for us to be crazy. So uh, chestnut, dyed selvage. The first time ever in the world and you're seeing it here for the first time ever as well. So that is coming out next Friday. So watch out for that. Do I have a faded chestnut sample? I don't have a faded chestnut sample and the reason for that is because I never got a sample of this fabric. Um, basically we had to go straight into production with these um, because the sample rolls that they made for us were made incorrectly. So uh, I never, I wasn't able to send that out for washing to get processed. Uh, so I don't have a faded example to show you. This one, it, you know, we're gonna have to see uh, what it looks like when we get it on you guys. So uh, coming out next week, you'll 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 probably see some faded examples in a couple of months. Uh, not fully fully faded, of course, but uh, so some of you guys are pretty incredible with your speed. Okay, for for denim um, in the main collection, this is well, this isn't 
it is part of the main collection, but not part of the main collection. And that is the MIJ-7, which is the Emperor of Slub, which is the follow-up to the King of Slub. And boy, am I excited for these. Uh, I just got the, um, the delivery schedule for these because we're not making these in Japan. Uh, you know, oh sorry, because we're not making them here in Canada, we're making them in Japan. Uh, they're gonna be a, a little bit later. Uh, they only arrive in Canada by on, on around September 20th and then at that point it'll take about a week to get into our hands and then we distribute them so the release date on these um, I know I said I wasn't gonna go over all the release dates but on these ones I'm going to because I think I think a lot of you guys are very excited for this one um, this one's gonna be around the end um, Emperor of Slub is going to be out around October the 18th and that is just for the jeans the jacket is going to be a little bit later, November the 1st. So these are hitting uh, retail right when it starts to get cold, uh, and they are not going to be inexpensive. I'll tell you that much right now. This is one of the most expensive jeans that we've made, and once you get your hands on them, you're going to understand why. Um, so uh, expect, expect a price bump in these from the King of Slub. Uh, I'm just going to pull up the price on these as well, just because I know people are going to want to know. And these are going to retail in the US for $498 for the jeans. And if I believe, well, how about I just find out instead of believing, um, these are going to retail for $695 for the jacket. And uh, you can expect all of our classic MIJ details on these jeans. So coming very, very, well, not very soon, but soon enough, uh, the Emperor of Slub. And if you've been following my live streams, you have seen the faded version of this, but I'm gonna show it to you guys again because I have to. And these are absolutely incredible. Uh, you can see that right here. Will there be an opportunity to buy the Weird Guy Gokus in a 40 waist? Uh, die Hard, DBZ, and Naked and Famous fan hoping to rep both. Um, I will double check. I only put up the release schedule for the jeans. There are certain sizes that aren't, that aren't going to be made. I believe, for, especially for a weird guy, that we did go up to 40. Um, in some models, I mean, just in general, Naked and Famous, um, the way it works is if, if we have orders on those sizes, we tend to make them, uh, but sometimes we don't, so they don't get made. So uh, anything above a 38 sometimes gets made, but not always. So uh, 40, 42, 44, um, it's maybe send me an email just to make sure. but. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say that I'm pretty sure that we are making size 40 in the Goku, but, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, okay, so that is the main collection denim, including the MIJ. We also have the Dragon Ball collection, which uh, I, did a, a, I did the release schedule last week, if you saw that. Um, I can go quickly through the Dragon Ball stuff because I did another video on it already, so I think if you want to learn more about the entire Dragon Ball collection, you want to check out that video. Uh, so we've got the Goku denim with the hollow foil leather patch. Uh, it's a dark indigo denim. Slub stretch, 12 and a half ounce weight with the uh, orange interior, and then you have the, the, uh, the Dragon Ball detailing. The light's a little bit funny in here, huh? Uh, you've got the, uh, the, the four star button, the, uh, the Goku leather patch, you have the uh, uh, orange and blue uh, selvage edge. You have the, the pocket bags with the pocket. I have two hands now. Um, with the uh, silk screen pocket bags. So uh, we've got Goku. And the faded version. I have it right here. Check that out. You can see that it actually gets more blue with wear. You know, the, the raw of this fabric is very warm in tone, very, very dark indigo, but that orange makes the denim look very, very warm toned. But as you wear it in, it becomes much more blue. You can see that much brighter. Uh, so you can also expect the same thing from the cell denim, which is made from the same fabric construction. So 12 and a half ounce slub stretch selvage, which I have right here with the 
red ribbon army embroidery. You've got the natural veg tan leather patch, hollow foil pocket flasher, and then of course we have the green weft. Steering wheel button. Some of the details, you know, obviously are, are, are going to be shared from uh, style to style, like the uh, dual branded logo. You have the green weft interior and then the pocket bag on the inside here. So uh, that is the cell denim. And I'll show you the washed out version, which is right here. Again, you see just how much more blue they become. You really see that green poking through the, uh, the grain of the denim. Okay, and uh, the purple and green salvage ID. The lighting's a little weird, sorry guys. And, uh, and yeah, so anyways, the details are all, all the same, and you can just see that faded one. If you want a, a better you know, look at all the Dragon Ball stuff, check out my previous video uh, where I do a deep dive on the entire Dragon Ball collection. Okay, uh, and then I'm just gonna do uh, Vegeta and Trunks really quickly here. You have a Vegeta, the 16 ounce unsamphrized model. So if you're looking for like the hardcore kind of edition of the Dragon Ball series, you've got it right here. And the fade on this is just beautiful. Somebody's asking if the green core are still coming back. Uh, they are not coming back. We're, we're gonna be doing a, a blue core next season. So a blue core. Um, and we're working on, uh, anyway, I don't want the cat out of the bag, what the heck. Uh, we're working on a purple core uh, for after that. So uh, we're not done creating new core color options. Uh, it's, it's just the beginning, really. Um, so anyways, back to Dragon Ball. Vegeta, you have, uh, uh, this is, if, if you want the more like purest denim, this is the one to get. Um, when will we see post soap measurements for DBZ? I'm actually taking the Vegeta denim home tonight to do uh, the wash test on them. So uh, on Monday or Tuesday, Monday's Labor Day, but then if maybe at some point this weekend, I will update the website with the post soak measurements on Vegeta. I believe the pre soak measurements are up right now. Um, so we are also updating the measurements on the chestnut that's going up um, very, very soon. So you can expect a uh, lot more information coming out. I'm, I'm, I've been behind the computer like 10 hours a day, just updating stuff everywhere. Uh, we also, anyways, I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. Um, and last, but certainly not least, we have the trunk denim. This is the 18 ounce, big slub, heavyweight, all black denim with the purple selvage ID. So that comes, well that fades to this, such an incredible black fading denim. If you want a black fading denim, this is the black fading denim to get. Look at that texture. Oh, it's very hard to show, but it's very beautiful. I will make sure to have really, really nice detailed shots of these up uh, before uh, these go out so you can really see what you're gonna be getting. I wanna make sure that everyone knows exactly what they're getting right before they get it and they can plan their purchases. And, and that's also part of the reason why I staggered out the entire collection. Uh, a lot of people reached out to me telling me that, uh, you know, they, they didn't wanna destroy their bank accounts. Um, and I don't want you to destroy your bank accounts, of course. Um, so anyways, I staggered the, uh, the releases so that, uh, you know, you could, you could properly plan uh, your purchases. And the same goes for the Fall Winter 19 collection. So you know when everything is coming out, you can plan uh, if you need to plan for that. I, I, you know, uh, if when things come out unannounced and you're not ready for it, you know, it, it's kind of a drag if you can't get what you want because, you know, you didn't get your paycheck. Uh, you know, it was coming next week instead of today. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that everybody can get what it, whatever it is that they want to get. Um, okay, I also have uh, another treat for you guys, and that is the other uh, capsule collection coming out this fall, and that is Ghostbusters. So we have 
Uh, this was, uh, well, this is coming out. I just announced it at the beginning of October. So we've got the Slimer glow-in-the-dark denim. And uh, you can see right here that these jeans actually glow in the dark, which is really incredible. This is, uh, and, and even the leather patch glows in the dark too. So you've got a glow-in-the-dark leather patch, a glow-in-the-dark denim. You've got the Ghostbusters embroidery on the back. I mean, this is truly, if you're gonna make a jean based off of Slimer, this is the one. So we've got uh, the glow-in-the-dark denim right here for you. And for those of you who don't want your jeans to be all that glow in the dark. We also have the Supernatural Selvage denim, 12 and a half ounce denim. Of course, we've got the glow in the dark leather patch featuring Janine in our classic naked and famous denim pose. Uh, you know, glasses up, Ghostbusters. Uh, man, I'm tired. <laughs> Ghostbusters, what do you want? Um, it's, uh, it's just one of those days. Um, it's been a long week. Uh, anyways, I, as, I, as I always tell you guys, I love finishing my week with you guys, so uh, please bear with me. I'm a, I'm a little bit tired. It might, it might show a little bit in my face, so. Mm. Both uh, Naked and Famous. Janine. Pretty cool, huh? I really, I really like that we have Janine in the Naked and Famous denim pose. That's, that's you know, as, as, as a big Ghostbusters fan, uh, this is really melding the world together, so. We've got the Supernatural Selvage Edge Denim, and this, you've got the, the Selvage Edge alone will glow. Uh, it's hard to show that, it's not really. Uh, let's try over here. You can see that here. So just the edges of the Selvage are uh, glow in the dark, so. A little bit of, uh, you know, that, that supernatural Ghostbustersness added to these jeans. So just enough. Uh, if you're a true Ghostbusters fan and a raw denim fan, then this is certainly the jean for you. And we do have a denim jacket also coming out. I'm just going to grab it. It's right over there. Um, this is the No Ghosts. Club jacket. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You've got the no ghost logo. You've got the top and bottom rockers here, and uh, NFD for naked and famous down. So very very motorcycle club uh, jacket with the the Ghostbusters branding on it as well. And you do have that Janine leather patch on this version. And there is a Slimer version. Risa, yeah. do you, do we know where the Slimer jacket is? No. There's a Slimer jacket. I, uh, I don't see it anywhere. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna follow up with that. Uh, so that is just uh, one of two jackets that is coming out in the Ghostbusters collection. I know we had it in Vegas, but uh, was that our only sample? No. No. Okay. Well, uh, sit tight because we're we're going to find that jacket and we're gonna show that off for you. And I'm just gonna take another sip of coffee. Mm mm. And. Uh, we've got a lot of great new shirts also. Um, some of these have, have released already, and some of them have already sold out. Sorry. Uh, but for those that haven't sold out and that are still coming out, there's a lot of great options here for you as well. And I'd like to share them all with you and uh, give you a nice preview of what is to come. And um, so some of the denim, uh, some of the jeans that I showed you are also available in denim jackets. And I'm just gonna go over that. Uh, I don't have all of the sample, the sample jackets here to show you, but uh, we will have denim jackets in the Elephant 8, the Emperor of Slub, as I did mention, uh, the Lord of Nep, the Left Hand to a Midnight Edition. We've got an Indigo Corduroy jacket, which I actually will pull out and show you, and a, a Color Block jacket uh, as well that, I, that I'm gonna grab and show you as well. And we have these really great fleece jackets, which last winter I was wearing the crap out of. I mean, I, I'm really a big fan of these. Uh, I like this kind of, you know, uh, I don't know what, what, what they call it, um, but this cozy style. Um, any plans to make canvas jackets or shirts? We should make um, maybe some canvas work shirts. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, but like these really, really cozy materials here are great for the fall and very, very warm. I was, I was able to wear this for a lot of the winter season. Can you get me the corduroys as well? 
uh, the indigo corduroy and the color block corduroy jacket. Thank you. That's my lovely wife, by the way. Uh, if she, would you, do you want to come on camera, say hello to everybody? Anyways, uh, yeah, she's going to join us. Uh, so the, uh, the fleece jackets here, we have them in three colors, but I only have two of them here right now. Do the jackets stretch in the men's? Um, do the, I don't know what that question is. Do the jackets stretch? I mean, all of our, our, our the, ja the jean jackets will stretch with wear for sure, uh, but only if they have stretch in them will you get that extra stretch. Um, I'm actually getting really hot wearing this. So we have the fleece in the green and we also have it in, oh, right. Hey, hey. So uh, this is Risa, my lovely wife. She's also our women's designer, by the way. And uh, maybe the most knowledgeable woman in denim there is. Well, I doubt it, but I do know. I'm a denim sommelier. That is, that is true. I will, you know what? I should have a podcast with you one day where we talk about that. Because in Japan, they have this, really interesting it's like a credential system mm -hmm. uh it's like a whole course that people in the denim industry take uh it's called a denim sommelier course so uh and and she is certified certified a denim sommelier uh, second year second <laughs> year that's true so uh she's anyway I, when i don't know the answer for something i go to Risa. if you think i know a lot about denim she knows even more than i do so uh, uh she is she's my uh my right hand man all right, and uh, we've got these great corduroys here as well. I'm gonna put one on. Um, so we have the color block corduroy, and we have the dark indigo corduroy. I really like these jackets, and they're really, really nice for the fall. And uh, check that out. So you have the, the, the different contrasting blocks on this jacket. They're not random. Actually, they all kind of come in the same pattern. Oh, and another thing to note is that all of our denim jackets for the fall will have pockets. You'll notice that these samples do not have pockets, but we added them in at no extra cost. So we didn't, we, we, we costed our fall winter production without pockets, but we decided we we're going to throw them in anyways. So uh, we do have uh, uh, new jackets coming out very soon and they will all have pockets. So you have the color block corduroy and you have the indigo corduroy as well, which is the uh, just the all dark version of that jacket. Uh, it's a great way to wear a denim jacket, by the way, because for some people, it's hard for them to go full on, you know, uh, uh, Canadian tuxedo. Um, when you do have uh, a contrasting denim jacket, it makes it much easier to wear. So uh, for those of you who haven't ventured out into denim jacket land, this is a great were you able to find the slimer jacket? I, I was, hold on, I'm gonna show that uh, right one second. I like to stress a, a buff guy denim jacket fit, a little bit roomier on the chest and back. We did update our denim jacket fit about a year ago. It is a little bit wider uh, than before. I know in the past they were very, very slim, um, but they are much wider and more accommodating now. If you haven't had a chance to try on one of our jackets within the last year, um, at least one of our newer releases, I would recommend uh, giving them another look. Um, somebody's gonna ask about the, uh, did I go over the Dragon Ball capsule yet? I did, plus there's a, in a full video where I go over the Dragon Ball collection uh, that, you can, uh, that you can check out. I think that's actually a better video. I just kind of went through it very quickly here as I'm trying to get through all of the stuff, uh, you know, at, at, a, at a good pace, but uh, not, not too, too rushed. Uh, and the, somebody was asking me about the Slimer jacket, and we've got the Slimer jacket right here. So you've got a great, great embroidery of Slimer on the back of the jacket. And one thing you didn't see on the other jacket in the sample was the No Ghost embroidery on the front of the jacket. So uh, we've got that here on the Slimer jacket. This is going to be incredible. If you are a Ghostbusters fan, this is going to be the jacket for you. I mean, you know, that's how you want to show that off. And... Uh, Sorry, I don't know. I don't know where I'm centered. I hopefully I'm centered properly. And uh, so this is going to be coming out early October. These will be quite limited, um, and uh, so get them. Get these. These will be even more limited than the Dragon Ball collection. Uh, so if you are, if you are a, a Ghostbusters fan, it is their 35th year anniversary. They're filming Ghostbusters three right now here in Canada. Uh, it's a great time to be a Ghostbusters fan because there's so much great Ghostbusters product that's coming out, including one that we're a part of, the uh, Ghostbusters Naked and Famous collaboration. Okay, so I have a lot 
of great shirts to show you guys today. Um, and the only thing is, there's so many shirts and uh, there's only so much time. Can you make a super guy denim jacket? The current ones are two bucks. So if somebody is asking for a slimmer jacket, um, I don't know if we'll go back to making a super slim denim jacket. I wouldn't mind doing a different silhouette of denim jacket and, and, and maybe doing that one as a slimmer one. Um, I'll, uh, we'll have to see. Um, so I'm just gonna go through some of these shirts uh, pretty quickly. Some of them are, are, are pretty standard in the sense that it's, it's a great fabric, great lightweight fabric with an incredible print, like some of the ones I'm gonna start off with right here, which are the abstract kind of mod prints. If you like this kind of uh, jazzy look, then uh, these are gonna be really fun for you. And of course, the, the materials are so light and great to wear. Uh, I find that a lot of people like our patterns because they're, they're just kind of great going out shirts. Uh, I really like this grouping right here with the bananas uh, and the cats. Our cat shirts, ev uh, number one, for, for, for anybody who doesn't know, I am a cat daddy. I love cats and that's why there's cat shirts every single season. Uh, and uh, they do very well for us, so we always make them. Uh, this is the new uh, cat print shirt for, for the uh, fall winter season, and I know this one is, uh, I think this one might already be sold out. Uh, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I know this one's moving quickly. Same thing with these guys. Our banana prints, our, our novelty prints, fun prints, these ones tend to go very fast as well. You, the thing about these is that they're not for everybody, but the people who love them absolutely, absolute, well, the people who wear them absolutely love them and they get so many compliments on them. These are for sure the shirts that you're gonna get the most compliments on. And uh, you know, while the, we make a lot of like nerdy technical fabric ones, um, you know, I think general, like the general public doesn't know how to appreciate them the same as someone who really appreciates a, uh, a beautiful fabric. Like these classic flannels, you know, oh, I know that there are a lot of people out there who have a hard time wearing like, you know, maybe they don't wanna look like a lumberjack, but they really like the feel of a good flannel. So we've got these great soft, lightweight, airy flannels here. We've got the charcoal, we've got the blue, the yellow, and the gray. The, I, I wish I could transmit the softness of these fabrics over the internet, but uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it. This is some of the softest material you're ever gonna find. It's brushed to perfection, and uh, it's just gonna keep you cozy and warm all fall, winter long. And uh, next, we've got some heavyweight options here. These are some of the craziest fabrics uh, that we have to offer this season. This is the charcoal tweed. Look at that material. And this one's a really, really beefy material. Very, very thick. And uh, that's gonna keep you warm for sure. This one, if you're an indigo lover, then this is the one for you. Uh, oh, it's so hard to show this off. There you go, you kind of get a nice look at it. Um, so this also comes in a kimono shirt, which I think is, if you like our kimono shirts, that's certainly the one to get that, uh, next season. I remember showing these at the, uh, at the shows in, in New York and Paris, and everyone gravitated to these ones because even on the rack, uh, you could really see that these were something special. And uh, when you touch and feel these, you'll, you'll really get to know it. I wish, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do some macro shots of this fabric in particular. Um, because when you could, when you see all that is going on here, there's four different kinds of yarn that make this fabric, and uh, the colors really come through when you're when you're up and close with it. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show that one off a little bit more in depth later on. Um, speaking of you know back to that novelty land, this one's another one that I'm pretty sure has sold out already. This is the Creatures of the Forest. That lightweight, great, fun fall print. Uh, if if you like funny and uh, humorous prints and cute prints, then this is a great one for you the dark bandana you know a little bit more subtle with that tonal kind of well it's it's mostly tonal a bandana print on uh on, on all over the the shirt oh this is like technical marvel shirts right here these are like dobby jacquard shirts and uh check this out this isn't just a pattern i mean it is a pattern but it's completely woven into the material. Um, yeah, it's absolutely nuts. This was another one of those shirts that from far people were like, holy cow, I didn't say the bad word. Um, this is something special. So uh, you can even feel it. Like when you when you pick up this fabric and you see the weight uh, and you feel it, it's, it's, 
you've never seen anything like this before. Um, so it comes in this great kind of uh, I don't know what I don't know what we call this pattern. Um, it's kind of like this leaves or something, uh, and this kind of Aztec print going on here as well. And this is again all woven into the fabric, um, as you can see here. And these, are these, these, these are some of my favorites, but I really like this one as well because I love flannels. I basically live in them. And uh, this fabric is so cool. It's got this great wrinkly texture to it. And this, this line that's through the fabric is actually woven all the way through. Check that out. So that's not just like a printed line on the material. It's actually woven right into the material. Uh, so you've got that 3D kind of ness to it. So you've got in the red with the yellow, and you have it with the blue with the pink. So great, really technical, uh, you know, vintage style flannel. I call it vintage style because it has that like crinkly look. So nice, it has that worn in kind of look to it. Some Japanese style prints here. I really like these. They're very 80s uh, for me. It has this uh, Japanese fans. Uh, we have it in this uh, black with gray. Black with this is kind of a gray and gold and red. And uh, this one just screams like you know 1980s Miami. Uh, so we have that as well. I, I very it, we did a couple of like 80s aesthetic shirts also for spring summer 20. Um, I'm on a bit of a, like a, a retro wave. Uh, in, in my head, so uh, anytime I see fabrics like this, they, they, they got to go into the collection. It's another interesting one. Um, I'm just trying to look up the name. The Indigo Vintage Stripes. It is a very old school looking material. Um, you know, I, I, whenever I'm looking for, when I'm looking at old fabrics, I, I, I tend to find like this kind of texture uh, and I thought it was a really neat fabric to add to the collection. And you can see that this is all woven in with all these colors like that, so it's not printed, and uh, so it makes the, the fabric very unique in that respect. So if you're into striped shirts, a lot, a lot of different blue hues throughout here, great option. It's got this nice crinkly kind of feel to it as well. And uh, oh, this one is party time. Again, Japanese kind of inspired here. What I really like about, because we, we, we do this material every season, and uh, for those of you who, who haven't been up and close with it, um, it has this kind of like metallic gold in the fabric that shines. So uh, if you are wearing this out, it is going to get noticed. I mean, of course it's gonna get noticed. Look at this shirt, it's crazy. Uh, but that really, that, that goldness to it really makes it stand out. Um, it, I don't know if it's transmitting well, but you can kind of see it over here. Uh, it has that nice little gold shine. Uh, you know, drawn throughout the, throughout the pattern. And a little bit more on the uh, traditional side of, of Japanese fabrics, we have the, the arrowheads in the black, so a nice all over print. And it's repeated again in the indigo, in the blue. And then we have the uh, plus pattern as well. We do these fabrics pretty much every season. We really like these vintage Japanese uh, prints so these all over print shirts are, are always a winner for us. So you're always gonna find uh, a basic kind of Japanese print, uh, well, every season, as I mentioned. And, oh, this one's really cool. Price point wise, it's up there, you know, but this is a heavyweight brushed indigo, real indigo dyed flannel. So. It's super soft, heavyweight, it's gonna keep you warm, and it's going to fade. Uh, so this is one of those shirts that you're just gonna have forever, and it's gonna evolve with you, uh, and just such a luxurious feel to it as well. Um, it's hard, again, it's hard to show you, but you can kind of see how uh, you know fuzzy this material is, and uh, it is really gonna keep you warm throughout the, uh, the colder winter months. So that's the the natural indigo dyed flannel. And now we're kind of going into flannel territory, which is my favorite place to be. We've got, yeah, we call it the, the northern brushed flannels. Some great, uh, you know, classic checks here as well. I really like 
what I really like about these is the gradient blue that you have here. And uh, so it's not just solid colors, very, very, uh, uh, you know, speckled throughout. Um, that's because they're using Grand Drell yarn. So these are twisted yarns uh, that contain many, many different shades of blue. And uh, that's how you get something so uh, unique like this. I wish, yeah, I think you can see it pretty well here. You can see that it's, it's certainly not a solid color throughout. So uh, that's what sets it apart from, you know, everything else that's out there. And then you have the darker version of it here as well. So we call these the Northern Brushed Flannels. And this is the sequel to last season. We did the Rustic Nep Flannels, heavyweight, neppy. Now, this is a repeat from last season. We're bringing it back again because this was one of our best-selling flannels. I personally wear this a lot. And uh, you can, once you really get up and close to this fabric, you'll see why I love it a lot. Because it's a super loose woven uh, flannel. I'm just trying to see if I can, you can see how loosely woven this is and you can see how it's nice and brushed so you have that fuzziness to it and it's actually neppy so this is a neppy flannel shirt uh you know throughout here so it's got this really really old school feel and texture the looseness makes it really feel nice against your body it's heavy weight it keeps you warm it's got a great vintage grungy look to it so we've got it in the blue the pink i've been wearing a lot as well this is a such a great color and uh, last but not least, we have the red. So three different color options here and the rustic nep flannel. Let's get a good close look at that. We got, uh, oh, sorry. The uh, Seshko Dobby shirts. So you can see this is not a print. This is actually woven into the fabric. Again, we really love uh, Dobby and Seshko style. So we call this the Sashiko stitch shirt. You have it in the blue and you have it here in the gray as well. And that uh, you can see real day. Oh, you know what? When you look on the inside, uh, you can see how it's all completely woven in. Yeah. There you go. And let's see what we got here. Gotta make some movement. Um, this grouping right here. We call it this, this is the Silk Blend Nep. Very neppy this season, by the way. We've got the Lord of Nep coming, and we've got a lot of great neppy shirts. So uh, this is a Silk Blend Nep. So very soft, uh, and it's got a great, like, silky touch to it as well. Very smooth, and uh, you can see just how neppy that shirt is. Uh, a lot of character to this fabric. And uh, it comes in four colorways. So we've got the green. We've got this wine color. Uh, navy and gray and more this is like the last of our button-down shirts uh, we have the heavyweight solid flannels so what's great about these price point at 115 this is one of our best price point shirts of the whole collection and you've got a heavyweight flannel So you've got it in uh, four colors. You've got the burgundy, navy, green, and the black. So if you're looking for a solid navy, in a, in, in, or rather a solid color in a, in a brushed flannel, this is a great choice to get. And uh, more flannels, and now we're talking uh, work shirt land. And this is, in the fall, in the winter, this is my uniform. Uh, I wear these practically every day, and we've got some really, really great heavyweight flannels coming your way. We've got the navy here in the, uh, in the heavyweight vintage. And what, I, what we did for the heavyweight ones, we, uh, we used real metal buttons on these as well. So super tough. Uh, and you can see just how great that is. It's super brushed, well, super brushed. It's just brushed on the inside. So you have that really soft feeling on the outside. It's not brushed on the outside, so it's got a smooth texture on the outside. Nice and heavyweight. And you can see, look at the size of the grain on that thing. Huge. So uh, you have three color options here in the heavyweight flannel. So you've got the blue, the yellow, which I really like.
and we've got the red. This is, to me, this is like very Montreal Canadian, or like a very Canadian uh, looking uh, uh, flannel shirt. Um, you know, you can wear that to a hockey game and fit right in. If you're not wearing a jersey, I guess. Uh, you can see I don't go to a lot of hockey games, but uh, you know, in my imagination, you know, uh, you know, uh, playing hockey out, uh, out out on the creek. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to play on the creek, um, but uh, I haven't played hockey in a long time. I'm uh, I'm not I'm not the greatest athlete, um, but I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm I have imaginations that that make me sometimes feel like I was. Um, have you already showed the elephant eight? Sorry, I just tuned in. I did. It's near the start of the video, uh, so when this video goes offline, you can check that out, and uh, you know you, you can you can rewatch this video as as many times as you want. And uh, I've only got a couple more shirts here to show you, and that'll wrap up. Oh, wait, there's actually one more thing after these, and then I'll wrap it up, and then I'll answer a couple of your questions. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wish you guys a happy weekend, uh, because it, it's the start of a long weekend. Um, almost the end of summer. Uh, for, for you kids going back to school, um, I feel for you. But enjoy those school days. Enjoy those school days, great times. Um, Okay, so we've got the slubby buffalo checks. These come in four different colors. Uh, the white, and this is, again, a very, very nicely brushed soft. It's a little bit lighter weight, but not, not a lightweight shirt by any means. Uh, very soft, and you've got that vintage-looking uh, buffalo check uh, here in the white. And I really like this orange one a lot. It's kind of like that high-visibility orange. And you've got the blue and the green, so... You know, great, really, really great to pair up with denim. Great denim with boots, that kind of rustic feel. Uh, you're gonna get that right here. And then we have our kimono shirts, which are very popular for us. Um, this comes in that, uh, in that flannel with the, uh, the dobby uh, stripes throughout. So you've got uh, the red. Then you have these two. You have just the, uh, the cotton tweed. So I was mentioning earlier that uh, I, I think this fabric is best in the kimono shirt, uh, but of course that button-down shirt is fantastic. Uh, I just happen to like kimono shirts a lot, and the sashiko as well. Um, that's, I like this shirt a lot. Okay, so that's all of our shirts for the season. Uh, it's not all of our tops, we have one more new addition, uh, and that is our new hoodies. Um, and uh, sweatshirt. So I'm just going to grab those. I'll be right back. We've got a bunch of different color options um, and these are launching right now and I love these things. I, I have been wearing mine since we got the samples in. I did a little bit, I did show these off a little bit on some Instagram live videos, uh, but I just want to kind of go over them again. Now these are the samples, the productions, they have a little bit different uh, uh, like taping on the inside and maybe some of the drawstrings are a little bit different. Um, but beyond that, everything is the same. 690 GSM, these are 20 ounce heavyweight uh, knits. So it comes in this great zip hoodie, uh, it comes in the yellow, it comes in black, it comes in uh, comes in the charcoal, comes in the gray, and it also comes in the green. Now, these also come in, uh, so they have, we have the uh, zip versions, so they have the, uh, the zipper in the front, of course, that's what the zip version is, a zip hoodie. Um, we also have a pullover hoodie, which I don't have the sample with me right now, but it's essentially the same fit, but without the zipper in the front. And we also have a crew neck version as well, which we've got right here. So uh, I'm very happy to have these in our collection again. We haven't had hoodies in our collection in many, many seasons. You know, around the start of, well, basically when I started at Naked and Famous over, I think about 10 years ago, we had hoodies in our collection and we used to do a lot, but uh, for some reason we kind of toned down our, our knit options and uh, I don't know why, they were very popular and so I'm happy to bring them back again. If you want a really, really great heavyweight hoodie, this is really, really, I say really a lot. Uh, this is really, 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 really 
really the word to use. Um, it's 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 a great hoodie. I've I've been wearing them. They wash fantastically. Great for layering up. I've been layering it up a lot. This combo right here um, with the uh, with the work shirt. So uh, a lot of the fall, I sometimes I wear a lot of jackets. Sometimes I don't care to. Um, this has also been a a, a great airplane uh, outfit for me. Um, just wearing the work shirt and the hoodie layered together. Um, You guys gonna watch me get dressed live. So things like that have been my uh, my go-to for a lot of the fall season. Um, and uh, I hope you guys uh, will enjoy some of these new products that we have coming out, especially these hoodies. I'm, I'm pretty proud of them and uh, these really great flannels as well. Uh, so that pretty much concludes all of the new men's products we have coming out this season. Um, I didn't go over the women's. That'll that'll be another video. Um, uh, it was the first gene that he showed. If you want to go back to the beginning of the video, okay. Uh, so if you guys have any questions for me, now is the time. Uh, otherwise, um, I guess I can. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go. So I'll just be here for a few more minutes to see if any of those questions come through. Um, I will be back again on on Instagram live probably next week unless you guys prefer this format so I guess I will watch out for your reactions to this um, I know this the way my camera set up on this iPad isn't exactly ideal it's kind of looking up my nose but uh, I know I have to work on this setup and uh, I, I intend on it so uh, anyways thanks for bearing with me through all these uh, you know technical hurdles but I'm trying to do my best for you guys with, uh, with the tools that I have. Um, are you doing Ghostbuster jackets in any other colors? No, they're, they're just coming in the black. Chunks Texture and Slub versus Upcoming Japan Heritage Black. I want a new black jean. Um, the Trunks jacket and... Uh, oh, yes, there is a Trunks jacket and a Goku jacket, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Um, the Trunks denim is much, much heavier than the new... Uh, the new uh, Japan Heritage All Black. So if you want a heavier weight denim that is much slubbier, the Trunks is the one to get. If you if you want a, a mo I'm not saying it's a moderate, by, by comparison it's a moderately slubby denim, but it, the, the Japan Heritage Black is still a very slubby denim, don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, if you want something that is less extreme, then the Japan Heritage All Black is the one to go to. What's the best Toronto shop to see for fall winter 19 shirts? Um, that's a good question. Over the Rainbow's got a very good selection. Gerhard in Toronto has a pretty good selection as well. Future of Francis has a great selection. Um, uh, uh, Gravity Pope has got a good selection. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting. Oh, oh, Muttonhead. Muttonhead has got a great selection as well. And a good neighbor out there uh, uh, on Queen East. Uh, they have a really fantastic fantastic selection. Um, most of our Toronto retailers really do uh, have a good selection. The only one uh, maybe is the exception with, uh, that, that doesn't have a, a wide shirt selection would be Dutil, but that's mostly because they, they, they focus on jeans, uh, you know, from your waist down. Now, they do have some of our shirts. Um, it's just not the most robust assortment of our shirts, but uh, they do have a fantastic selection of our jeans. All right. Um, okay. Any other questions? I think they're coming through. Um, okay. Live chat. Oh, okay. Uh, any shops in Boston? Not at the moment. Um, now, I do get that question a lot. Um, you know, where where can I buy? Um, and for me, if there isn't a local retailer that is carrying our products and you want them to carry your products, the best way to, to, to ensure that you, you can find our products locally is to talk to your local retailers and let them know that there is some demand for it, that you're looking for something. Because when they, when they know that there is something uh, that their customers are asking for, it's more likely that they will bring that in. Um, you know, for them to bring products in that they, they, they personally don't have a lot of experience with, you know, that's a bit of a gamble. But uh, when they note that there are customers for it, they're more likely to bring that type of stuff in. So uh, you should be vocal uh, with your local retailers. And, uh, you know, of course, I do my job. I, I, I try to reach out to, uh, I actually don't reach out to that many stores anymore. Mostly it's, it's stores that, that, that reach out to us. But, uh, but I do know that there is a, uh, 
there's a hole in Boston, and uh, and and we do need to have it, find a good retail partner there to uh, to stock our products. But uh, yeah, I think the best thing you can do right now is uh, shop online or, uh, or 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 you know do talk to your your uh, your local retailer. Um, e Honda versus Elephant Eight. Um, I don't know uh, who would win in that fight. Uh, I mean, I guess E Honda because he is a actual character. Well, he's not an actual person, but the Elephant Eight is an elephant. Hmm. E Honda versus Elephant. Who would win? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, okay. Sorry, the chat keeps like showing on screen and then off screen, so it's. Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing everything. Hey, Vez, I just want to tell you thanks for all, all of these live streams. Uh, my pleasure. I know it could be hard with all the requests, but uh, you kill it, man. It makes my weeks better. Well, thanks for, for joining me. I mean, it, this helps me wind down my week. Uh, my week is usually very uh, hectic. Um, I, I, I sit behind. I'm either, anyway, I'm, do, I'm doing a kajillion things uh, in a week. And uh, by the end of it, I'm always amazed by how much I got done at the end of the week and then how I feel like I didn't get anything done, um, which then spirals me into Monday morning, which is like, okay, here's 10,000 other things that I need to do. Um, but these live streams help me get all of my, all the talking that I want to do out of the way. And uh, because I, I like talking with customers, I just don't get a chance to do it all that much. Sometimes I, you'll find me in Tati and Yoko here helping you out. But uh, I don't get to go down there as often as I like, so this is my way of doing that. Uh, I, I was born on the sales floor, I mean, in the sense that my, my passion for denim was developed from working on uh, a sales floor selling jeans. So uh, speaking to customers and telling people about product is, is something that I, I really happen to enjoy. So uh, here, here I am doing that with you guys, with other people that enjoy it. So it's, uh, it's very, it works both ways, you know. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, okay, I've got, uh, I'm gonna check out some more questions here. Um, Difference in the fabric of E Honda versus Elephant 8. The Elephant 8 is much tightlier woven, so you don't have as much grain coming through the fabric. Um, that's that's the major difference. I mean, if you see them together, they, they look completely different because of that. Um, okay, next question. Um, what is your favorite Toxic Avenger film? Um, if I would rank them, it would be one, four, two, three. Um, one for, like, I love. I love Toxic Avenger so much. Uh, a lot of people, you know, I, I do enjoy getting the fact that I get to talk about the Toxic Avenger with more and more people. And uh, as I was going, uh, you know, doing this kind of trade show tour, uh, you know, showing the Spring Summer 20 collection off with uh, to so many people that I got to tell them about Toxie and uh, this really, really incredible, crazy movie. And uh, I, I've, I've had people respond back to me, say, hey, I, w I went and watched it, you're right, it's such an unbelievable film. Uh, and there's no way they would make a film like that ever again, uh, which is another reason why I love it. Um, you know, there were different sensibilities back then, and, uh, you know, that, that era of, of horror and shock and, and just, you know, creativity is, uh, it's, it's so fun to watch. Um, you know, I know Amazon, actually Amazon Prime, uh, if you if you have it, they do have a lot of like campy horror movies, which is why I, 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 I Amazon Prime Video, they have a lot of great uh, horror movies on there. I don't think Toxic Avenger is on there, but uh, if you do enjoy, you know, kind of that, uh, that campy kind of, you know, B-movie kind of feel, there's a bunch on there and, uh, you know, explore. You never know what you're, what you're going to find. Um, what's another... There's a great, uh, what's that movie called? Uh, Chopping Mall. I really like that one. That was a, it, you know, in the 80s, you know, that's one thing about the 80s that uh, the horror movies or just movies in general were very much like about the times. Uh, I mean, I guess they do that today. Uh, but, you know, the shopping mall was such a big, uh, was such a big thing. So there was a lot of like shopping mall themed everything. Uh, and, and Chopping Mall was the, uh, the horror movie uh, uh, response to the shopping mall craze that was going on. Um, I, when was the last time I was at a mall? Not, not very often. Um, I'll check it out. Is it a trauma movie? Chopping Mall is not a trauma movie. Actually, I don't know who makes that movie. But uh, if you haven't seen Toxic Adventure or any of the films that Trauma produces, they're all, they're all gold. I, I really do enjoy uh, the productions that Trauma puts out. Um, 
you know, you're guaranteed to enjoy them. Uh, that's, that's as far as I can, that's as much as I can say about that. Um, you know, it's not, uh, it's not for everybody, but uh, it's for somebody. And uh, I'm, I'm that somebody. Okay, next, uh, next question here. Let's see if I missed anything. Um, is 40 ounce ready in the store? No, it's, it's probably going to be a while before the 40 ounce is ready. Um, uh, you know what, uh, somebody, there's another movie uh, called Super, um, and it's, it came out, uh, I don't know, maybe six or seven years ago, with Rain Wilson. He played the, uh, the character Dwight from The Office. And uh, Lloyd Kaufman, the, 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 the uh, founder of Troma, uh, did a cameo in the movie, and I was, I was so happy to see him in there. I was like, oh, wow, it's Lloyd. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, Super, uh, fantastic film, by the way. Uh, you should definitely go and check that one out. Um, okay, well, uh, now, uh, I, 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 is there anything left uh, to say? It's from 2008. Yeah, it, it's not a new movie, but I know a lot of people don't know about the movie. Um, yes, Super has the most uncomfortable love scene. There is, it's, a, it's definitely worth watching that movie. I don't think you can not like that movie. It's, uh, it's wholesome and horrendous at the same time. Um, it, it was like whole, it, it was a great film. Just absolutely great film and not enough people know about that movie. Go out and watch Super uh, this weekend, if you can, with Rain Wilson. Um, okay, well, now that uh, Bayzad's movie reviews are, uh, are over, I guess I'm gonna call it a, uh, a day. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on another live stream here, and uh, hopefully the, the quality is much better here on my iPad than it was on my phone, uh, and I will be back again next week with another live stream for you. I will cover the women's collection. I also should make a, like, uh, maybe a, uh, a condensed version of this fall-winter uh, preview where I, maybe I can talk really, really fast and just go over the entire thing. Because I don't know how many of you are going to watch all uh, 60 plus minutes of this live stream uh, back to back. But uh, I do appreciate everybody here who has joined me and for anybody who's watched and sat with me for the entire thing. Uh, thank you so, so, so very much. And uh, also, you know what? I think we're almost at like 4,000 subscribers, which is, um, oh my God, answer one more question about Gene. Okay, uh, I will answer one more question about jeans because you, you're, you're still here and uh, I want you to uh, I want to answer your question. I just want to see how many subscribers we have because I know that uh, it's been growing and I appreciate all of you guys for um, signing up and subscribing. It's, uh, it's really, to me, it's, it's, you know, I'm just talking about jeans and, and you guys are here with me. So, uh, you know, I'm not changing the world. I don't have one of the most exciting uh, YouTube or Instagram uh, profiles to share. But uh, if, if you guys like talking fabric and stuff, then I'm, uh, I'm, I'm your guy. That's for sure. Um, I, 3,933 subscribers. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so thanks so much for all of you subscribers out there. And uh, for those who haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. I, uh, I do my live streams on Instagram on Fridays at, at Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern around that time. Uh, but I might switch over to be uh, more present here on the YouTube because I don't have to re-upload anything because it re-uploads uh, by itself. So, um, sorry, somebody was asking a question and I want to answer that question. Uh, live chat. Will you do heavyweight slubby stretch denim yes we're working on it we're actually working on it um so you're going to see heavyweight slubby stretch uh not enough people do heavyweight and stretch i don't know anybody who does uh so we're going to do it um and uh, expect that uh, in the near future. I'm actually going to be in Scotland next week. Um, I know that that is not Ireland, but it's very close. Um, it's my first time going there. Uh, I'm going there for a wedding. Um, so uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, discovering a new land. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take a couple of nice photos, hopefully for the Instagram uh, while I'm out there. Okay, well, oh, yeah, that said, because I'm, I'm going to be in Scotland, I probably won't be doing a live stream next Friday. Uh, so, 
uh, I need to wear a kilt. I, I, you know what? I was offered a kilt to wear, but I wasn't sure so much about it myself. Uh, but I am a naked and famous kilt. No, I'm wearing a, uh, I'm wearing a, a flannel, uh, uh, sorry, a, a, a brown velvet suit. Um, I'll post a photo. I, I think it looks pretty good. Um, no, no denim kilt confirmed. No denim kilt confirmed. Uh, but uh, we're, you know, we're not kilt makers. I, I, I don't, you know, uh, I don't know what it. I don't know what. Like, let's put it this way. I don't want to make something where I don't know what it would take to make it good. Does that make any sense? So, um, I don't know what a good kilt is. I'm, I'm sure somebody out there knows, but uh, I don't want to make a bad kilt, so I would rather not make a kilt. Okay, great. Um, all right. Oh, well, I think I've said bye for the, this may be the 10th time, but I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you so much for hanging around and uh, listening to me talk about jeans. Um, I'll see you next, next, next time. Not next week, probably the week after. And uh, I'll post some photos from Scotland. Uh, like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Tell your friends about me. Uh, if, if they like fabrics, they'll probably like me. And they'll become a subscriber and we'll be at 4,000 subscribers in no time. Uh, and, and thanks, everybody, from, for joining me from all over the world. It's, it's really a pleasure to see uh, you know, that so many people from everywhere are, are here to chat with me. So uh, that's it. Have a great weekend. If you're here in uh, Canada, USA, or wherever they're celebrating Labor Day, have a great long weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. All right. Later, guys. Bye-bye.